As you guys know, I like to mine in Hypixel Skyblock, and I have a couple mods that I use to mine, and so I decided to configure a big folder for you guys, and I'm going to show you the folder, and then I'm going to show you guys what the mods do and what I use them for personally. And that's pretty much the whole video, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. But before we do that, make sure you guys like and subscribe, you know, I would appreciate it. And that's all that really I have to say, so let's get into the mods. Alright, so I actually made my own own Google Drive and my own email to show you guys the mining mods here and all of my mining mods are in here every single one that I use and I'm gonna go ahead and just go over everything that I use in game and so what you know what I use and what they do in a mining all right so here we are in game and I'm just gonna go over all of them one by one. Starting off with, I'm going to go ahead and go over Odin. And basically what Odin is, is it's a dungeons mod. However, you can use it for other things other than dungeons. And the main thing that people are going to use Odin for, for mining is the ether warp helper, which is basically just going to, you know, Help you with your ether warps and also you can use it for its animations which you know basically what i use mine for is to make it my um item smaller and go by slower as you can see the break speed is pretty slow here and that that's pretty much it for that also i use it for my block overlay right here which you can see these are my stats and pretty much what it's going to do is it's going to overlay a block and that that's it that's all it does <laughs> it's it's a pretty cool feature and especially when you're mining like let me show you it's nice to have it highlighted or with whatever block Block you're going to be mine. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is actually chat triggers, which is basically a hub for all of your mods. Chat triggers inherently does nothing, but it allows you to install some other mods. So that's it for chat triggers. But the chat triggers modules I'm going to be using is Colweight, which Colweight allows you to do a bunch of different things. But I'm pretty much only going to tell you the ones that I use Colweight for. Colweight has some interesting things. A lot of stuff I don't actually use. None of this I really use. The only thing I use Colweight for is its wave points. And and as you can see, I will type on my streams a lot of the time, I will type CW ordered load. Basically, this allows you to put in any coordinate or any coordinates or waypoints that you want. For example, let, let me grab my Jasper coordinates. If I type CW ordered load, basically what it's going to do is it's going to load in the coordinates and that, that's pretty much all I use it for. So how to do that if I pull my coordinates up on here, basically I have a set of sky tills waypoints. I copy them and I put them in the the game like so and it'll copy it and that's pretty much all that's all I use call wave for I don't use it for really anything else next I have bling bling add-ons which I use for a couple things basically to get bling bling all you have to do is type slash B all the the only thing I really use here is going to be the tracker I, I use the coin tracker and the rough estimate because it, it show it gives you the rough values as well along with the flawed and you're gonna use sell offer unless you're an Iron Man I use flawless you could also use fine and the efficiency tracker the thing is with the efficiency tracker is it's kind of inaccurate but it all counts on what you put in here and basically what I put in here is what I have in a Jasper shaft and even then this is sort of inaccurate but basically this is really cool as you can see here the efficiency tracker is in the top left obviously Obviously, in the in the mines, my stats are incorrect. But if you want to, let's say you mine like amber or something, and you have consistent stats, you could put it in there to get perfect track. But I only use it for jasper shafts. And even then, I think mine's inaccurate, but it doesn't really matter. Bling Bling also has an ability tracker, which shows you your ability, which is pretty nice, but I don't really use this anymore because it's inaccurate. The only thing I use it for is the efficiency tracker, which is the most important thing I like, and it also shows you your coins per hour, which is pretty sweet. Now, moving on to Sky Hanny. Sky Hanny has a couple mining things that I like to use. You can use all of these, but the only thing I really am using nowadays is if you type widgets you get to tab widgets and this allows you to get your pickaxe cooldown in here basically to add it you have to add like all of these in here because you can't scroll for some reason but basically after you add all of these in here um uh, pickaxe cooldown will show up and you get it in the middle of your screen which is pretty nice this is the most accurate timer you will ever have and it's very very cool to have that's pretty much it for that mod the next mod i'm going to be talking about is going to be sky tills a couple things i use for sky tills obviously you create your wave points with sky 
titles, but also I mainly use it for the key shortcuts. This is one of the things that is technically bannable on Hypixel, but I'm going to say it's fine. I don't think you will ever get banned for using these, but these are very important as it allows me to instantly teleport anywhere. I can use it for my heart of the mountain. I use it to teleport to the hub, to teleport to the glacite tunnels, and then I also use it to skip my order waypoints. Basically, this is going to be super ideal and efficient, so you don't have to go ahead and type whatever you want to type. You can straight up just do it, like Shia LaBeouf says. That's literally it. That's all you would do. So we're moving on to the most controversial mod of all time, which apparently somebody said they got banned for, which I highly doubt it. I actually got a screenshot from the mod developer of Hot Shirtless Men or HSM, which I will show on the screen now, thanks to Spiff. Really appreciate it. Basically saying that this mod doesn't inherently do anything to the Minecraft itself, but it just does something that's a vanilla Minecraft feature that's later on in 1.21. But basically what HSM is going to do is it's going to fix your drill from reloading. All you have to do is to type it is to do slash HSM drill on. You turn it on and then you just get to mining. It fixed the fuel so you don't have to reset. It's a nice little buff. I think it's probably around like 5%, 5, 7%, which is good. It's good for mining. You should be you should be using this mod. There's nothing wrong with it. It's amazing. I have some other mods in here like Optifine, Foam Fix, and Crash Patch, which are all going to help you with just like FPS issues or stuff like that on those lines, but also have Patcher. Uh, Patcher is another FPS thing, but all of those are just FPS. That's it for the mining mod folder video. I really hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you want to see like a 1.21 mod folder video i don't really use 1.21 so i would have to talk to some of my associates but let me know and i'll see you guys later peace